I think being in the NICU is a parent's biggest fear. This is a place no expecting parent wants to end up. It's just not something you ever get used to. The NICU for premature or sick newborn babies. It's hard to sleep. It's hard to remind yourself to eat. But for Kimmy and Gregory Bush, this place became their home after giving birth prematurely to twins last year. For most people, you go to the hospital and you have a baby. You get to walk home with your baby. Every time we came, we had to go home without a baby. That devastating routine of leaving their boys Corbin and Xander in the hospital went on for 70 days due to an intestine infection that is common in premature babies. With all those ups and downs, we had a lot of we had a lot of really good days, and we had a lot of really hard days. Those hard days are now finally over. Xander and Corbin are now healthy and 13 months old. And just last week, they had the chance to revisit the place which turned out to be their first home. Not seem like a year yeah. at all. Yeah. Oh. They look so An overwhelming experience for parents and hospital staff. Getting to see them and getting to show them these boys after a year has just been. To be able to see them now and they're a year old and starting to walk, it's just such a blessing. Nurse practitioner Ruth Anderson was a huge part of the twins NICU stay and says the moment they walked through those doors felt like a dream. It brings tears to your eyes. I mean, just to see them laugh and giggle and be able to crawl around. I mean, they're just incredibly strong. I get to come back into the NICU and I get to show all these nurses like, look what you did for us. We have two very healthy babies, and we got really lucky. And Kimmy and Gregory Bush are far from alone. Last year, a record-breaking 331 babies at St. V's started their lives in the NICU. One reason the hospital's foundation holds its Call for Kids Mediathon each year. That's happening all day Tuesday. To help out, just text KIDS to 32037 or call the number on your screen. You can also find more details with this story on our website.